What's up, 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 Okay, so this is a video about mm, pretty much what's really going on in the world. These, I've pretty much said a lot of it in my cured videos, but I want to really focus on it in this video. This applies to everything, and it applies to everyone, and hopefully you people out there who are intelligent will really get the gist of what I'm trying to say. Anyway, everybody's problem nowadays is pretty much based on their um, adrenaline flow. Your adrenaline has two functions, and only two functions, well, primary functions anyway. One is to give you a extra boost in your strength and you know make your heart move faster and stuff like that and the second one which a lot of people probably really don't focus on too much is it makes you feel good Okay, when it's going through your body you get that rush you feel good it stimulates your body it stimulates everything because everything that it flows through creates the stimulation and stimulation feels good and that's where our problem is in the world. And my, okay, I won't even talk about the other video, but I mentioned that, well, I guess I have to talk about it. I've mentioned that um, the problem that, about anger, the problem of anger is you have a situation that you see. Then you prejudge it based on your own thoughts and your reaction. Then you think of a what is it? You think of a a um, reaction. And the reaction more than likely is going to be how can I say? Um, whatever the reaction is, more than likely it's gonna be the worst possible thing. But you think of a reaction. Then when you think of that reaction, you design it, you model it and everything, and then just thinking about it alone does nothing and still safe because it hasn't done anything. But then later you fuel it with this adrenaline. And when you fuel it with this adrenaline, then it feels through your body and you do that action, but it feels good. And it doesn't matter what you're doing. You can do something good or you can do something bad no matter what you're doing it feels good and that's where a lot of our problems lies because even in religion they say well it feels good to me but why does it feel good you know well that's the way I feel no it's because you whatever you thought of you and whatever it was that you thought of you filled it with your adrenaline and that's how it is you know and you you have to think about this it's like um, when, like I said, I did the anger thing, you know, another thing, okay, and, because I really didn't think this out, I thought about it, but, you know, I made some other videos, but I deleted them and stuff, but basically what it is, is you're drilling in, a lot of these people who study this stuff knows how it works, and it hasn't been fully explained to people how to work how it works and how dangerous it is and uh, ways to stop um, it from making you do something wrong or harmful. Basically, when you do anything, okay, you have you, you have a situation that happens, like I said before. You judge it, then you think of a reaction you feel it and then you do that action and while you're doing that action sometimes you're not thinking about what you're doing because the drilling is going through you so much that you don't really have a lot of time to think about anything you're just going through that same motion whatever it is and you keep doing it because it feels good and if you keep thinking about it you're going to keep fueling and keep fueling and keep refueling 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 until you just get totally exhausted or your brain gets really exhausted then you stop then when you stop you say to yourself oh my god what did I do that for you know what was I thinking and how did this happen and things like that because after you do it and the um, adrenaline is gone or burnt off because it has to burn off you know um, 
then you think about what you did and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I did it like that. What am I thinking? I must be crazy. But actually, you're not crazy. All it is is just a function of adrenaline going through your body, performing some act that you uh, predestined it to do. And let's say like a lot of times you go to jail, like they want to rehab, rehab, rehabilitate people. Okay, first of all, if, um, any person does it, um, a crime and say black man, then what they do is if they give you a what is called psychological evaluation or someone talks to you, you know, about your crime or whatever, then they're going to ask you a couple of questions. One question they may ask you, they might ask you, is, well, when you were doing this act, how did you feel? No, no, how did you feel, but what were you thinking? And usually when you get a rush for drilling, then there's really not too much thinking going on, you know, because you don't have to think, you know, you uh, just have to do some action. And so more than likely your answer will be, I don't know, or I wasn't thinking about anything, you know. And then they're going to ask you, how'd you feel? And if you really think about it, you think about what you were doing, there's only going to be one answer, and you're going to say, I feel good. And if that uh, psychiatrist is a person who works to put black men in jail or, you know, different types of people there are, or, or it could even be from his ignorance or whatever, which, you know, I don't know, um, they'll write up the report, this person did this hideous act and said that um, I asked him I asked the question how did what was he thinking he said he didn't know but it felt good and these actions can only be described as actions that an animal would conduct and then he'll he might recommend well this person needs to go to, to jail for so many years you know for the um, safety of the public and the person goes to jail but what's really not what's unfair about the whole situation is, first of all, he they label, you know, they label us as animals, but animals do not do anything without a purpose. They have a purpose. They don't just get their guns, go out into the woods, shoot other animals just to hang up on a wall, or uh, do the things that they do. They don't. Do, I mean, do the things that humans do. They don't do that. They have a purpose for whatever they do, um, and that's it. And um, and then another thing too is they say that uh, it feels good. So he has to be an animal because it feels good, or a monster, or something like that. But the whole thing is they know that adrenaline makes you feel good regardless of whatever the action is. So right there, it's like a whole lie. And I'm not saying that the person shouldn't get in trouble, shouldn't pay for what they're doing, but to label somebody an animal or a monster is putting them in a whole different category and it um, that will cause their sentence to be worse than someone that they wouldn't call them. So let's say, well, I mean, I can go through this. Well, if it was a white guy thing, I'm not going to even do that. Um, but we already know that a black man could do the same one crime and a white person could do the same crime and a black man will more than likely get more years and a severe, more severe, uh, severe uh, penalty. And why is that? And one reason is it's because when it has to be this, it just has to be this. They were taught to hate us. And when they were taught to hate us, whenever they think about us, they re they, there's this reaction they have. And then this reaction they have, it's nothing without fueling it. They fuel it with their drilling it, and it feels good. And then they think, well, a black person is an N-word, blah, ha, ha, ha. But what they're doing is they black person is an N-word, and they're releasing that adrenaline fluid. And people say it's caused by stress or whatever. Yes, but stress is not a bad thing. It's just something that puts pressure on that um, organ or the gland, I should say. And it gets 
pushed out and you can release it yourself you can totally control that and so they do that so if they see a white person doing a the crime then they've already programmed within themselves well he's white and they're not going to have that negative feeling that they would have for a black person in other words they'll see a white person and the, and the image that they will create will be something more or less um, more compassionate towards the white person and then when they release the fluid I mean the fear um, they're drilling it to uh, conduct whatever action that they want to do it's feeling good but it's still they think it's not positive and the adrenaline is flowing through their body and it's good and they think it's just the right thing but when they do a black person you know they think of something negative and the adrenaline is flowing and it's feeling good and they think oh well it feels good so I'm doing the right thing you know and actually it's wrong the whole thing is um, you create an image and not knowingly you release your fluid and at the same time it makes you feel good and then you think that because you feel good it's the right thing or the right action and that's not okay you guys have to really understand that it's not the bad thing about the whole the thing that's wrong about the whole situation is you created a false image that results in a bad or negative way or have bad or negative implications later on and then you have that image or that that action then you fuel it with the adrenaline and then you go out and do it and once you feel it with that adrenaline there's no stopping it for most of us you know some of us might understand like oh, I can't I'm not going to do it and you fight it but until that adrenaline burns off your body's going to be in the state it is and then you might Rrr! you know like your kids you know they might think you might say something to them and they get angry and they want to punch you but they know they can't you know so they and they hold their fist and you say who are you pointing your fist at you know well what happened was that they didn't agree they disagreed with what you said and they had an action of them wanting to punch you but they know that punching is worse but because of the fluid has already took went on its course and they they, they at that time they can have control and they, uh, but some kids can't they punch their parents and things like that or you know some crazy things that they do and what they're doing with societies doing the people in control they know this or I'm sure they know this and they're not helping people you know and they're using that to send people to jail or have people buying clothes and in in everything I mean everything that you do is basically off of your adrenaline you know the stimulation of the adrenaline you know and especially like religion it's the same thing you know oh well God this and God that and oh you feel good oh well, I feel good so it got to be true and, you know I feel good so the Lord just blessed me and, and it's like huh it has nothing to do with that is the flow of your adrenaline now you guys can it's easily to test it's easy to test this um, you can get two friends and you say something that might check each other off and, and you think of the process you, you, you get it in your mind your girl walking down the street and the guy looks at her and instead of him you walking over and ask him excuse me when you was looking at my girl you know what were you thinking you know, instead of that you'll say oh you look at the girl and, I mean he'll look at your girl and the first thing you think oh he thinks about having sex with my wife when oh my girl when he could have just been checking on the clothes because he had a, a nice um, fashion on and then you like um, and then you say oh he's looking at my girl and he's probably thinking about he want to have sex with her and he's disrespecting me and then you used to disrespecting you and well I'm gonna go over and punch this guy and but you're not going to do it until the uh, fluid comes and you release it and you get a drilling in and it feels good yeah I'm going to go get this guy you know and yeah I'm right because I feel good and you want to punch 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 don't you do that pa, ba, 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 ba. and then when you finish you know you end up beating up a cop you know and, and then uh, 
he'll say, well, you know, that's my cousin or something like that or whatever it is. But the whole thing is you created this image and you fueled it. I mean, you saw an image and you created a reaction and you fueled the action you went and did it. And um, you guys should try it. It's really simple. It's really simple. And once you start to understand that, then your problem is going to get real difficult. Because then what you're going to have to do is whenever you encounter problems, then you're going to have to understand that you will need to, you will need to, let's say, really evaluate the problem and make sure whatever your reaction is, that it's not going to be one that's going to get you in trouble. And I'm not saying that you can let everything pass, but if you understand that you have this problem, then you'll understand that everyone else has this same everyone else has this same problem. And instead of um, going about whatever you should go about and trying to show people, hey, this is the problem. You know, black man, this is why, you know, the racism started because of some white people somewhere in the past got this thinking and this that adrenaline flowing and they and they fueled the action that they were better and you know for economic purpose whatever it was and they felt good and they sent it out to everyone and you know there's a lot of people who don't care about all that racism. There are a lot of people who don't but because they're scared of maybe being outcasted by the other people who do or whatever, then they just kind of roll along with it and stuff like that and that's the same thing in all families too you know so you can do that now foster brothers in jail to rehab rehabilitate them all you got to do is sit down and say listen the reason you did what you did is because you thought of a reaction and it was a bad reaction and you fueled it with your drilling it do you know about it drilling it and most people say yeah it gives you power you say yes but there's one other thing that it does and that a lot of people are not familiar with it and it's, it makes you feel good and when it makes you feel good you think you're doing the right thing because that's what we were taught and then some people might say well if he did the crime of murder why did he murder well what's the situation because his wife was in bed with another guy well that um, you know I can understand you might get angry at that but you know why would you think of a um, and so you get in there, oh, she's messing around on me. That's what you'll think, you know. And then you'll think of this action because we use, because you're saying she's messing around on me, she's cheating on me. Then you create this image of this action that you're going to do this. And then if you feel it, you feel it, and then you go do it, bam, you're in jail. But then there's other people who also say, you know, I was going to do this, but then I thought about it a little bit. And I decided I'll forget it. I'll just divorce, divorce and go on. And that's what some people do that also. And that's, uh, see, and then those people got lucky because they didn't fuel that prepare action with um, adrenaline. Same thing that's going on in the streets. You know, you got the Crips and the Bloods and everybody. You know, and these gangs and, you know, guys, black people shooting each other and stuff. And, and it's the same thing. They get, they see a situation or they have some imagination in their heads. And then they um, think of some reaction and they fuel it. So, what's the solution? Is to let everyone know that adrenaline, it gives you strength, but it also gives you a it also satisfy you or stimulate you in a positive way. So whatever action that you do, you're thinking it's right and you do it and it's bad. I'm sorry, I'm not dry, I'm not moving so get tired. And so that um then at least if you're about you do it. Um it also applies to studying. Let's say when you study, most people don't even know why they study. The reason you study for the purpose of learning who you are, that's it. Know thyself. You can only know yourself if you study. And the more you study about math and different things, then you know it'll start giving you a, under, uh, a sense of who you are. 
and the things that you're capable of doing. There is no such thing as a stupid person. Everyone can study, everyone can learn this stuff. It's just how you apply yourself. When you're sitting down there and um, studying, you're gonna do what I'm doing like this, just, just, just tired and stuff, cause you're not moving, you know? You need something to help you do that. A lot of people say you need some kind of motivation or something like that, but you need to move or get some type of stimulation. Now, if it was possible that you could think of something that would um, stimulate you so you can wake up or or if you just could pump that adrenaline out when you're bored so they run through your body and stimulate you and just make you feel good and get you alert again, then you'll be able to study. If not, because a lot of people that listen to music and stuff like that, things like that, but you need that motivation that comes to like that uh, attention deficit syndrome or something like that. Kids uh, moving and talking and stuff. Those kids are not sick. The only thing is, is they, um, they don't, their flow of their adrenaline fluid is constant. And when it flows, they move and do things like that. They got this kid, he's a, in the fifth grade, he's smart. But during class, she was like, blah, 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 da, 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 da. and there's nothing wrong with him. You know, because when he's, when he make a makeup, when he has a makeup class and it's just him, he doesn't do that. And he's uh, more, uh, he participates more. But when he's with the other kids, maybe he's boring. So he says, okay, I'm going to make a joke and make everybody laugh, you know. And pretty much everyone laughs and things like that. And But I tell him to stop. But it's a good thing because it keeps everyone else work. The only bad thing about it is the way I think about it. You know, thinking like, okay, well, it's too loud or this or that, you know. So I just, you know, before I used to tell him to stop, now I just tell him to kind of uh, relax his voice and stuff like that. Uh -oh. And pretty much, pretty much that's it. And, uh, but he's the smartest in the class. Uh, right now they're reading um, English and reading English, um, what is it called? Conversations up to like 40, 50, 60 words. And they have questions and things like, okay, what did A want to do? Or what was A thinking about this? Or why did they say whatever? And so I'm showing them how to answer, um, answer those questions, English questions in English. He's in the fifth grade. The youngest student is a first grader. And so his learning, it's not messing up with his learning or anything. Actually, to tell you the truth, a lot of my students, when they are hyperactive, they're smarter, you know, and they comprehend a little faster. So the ones that's talking to the class, you know, talking during class and stuff, you know, they're more um, energetic and they, um, they, um, tend to hold more information, but that's probably because the drilling is flowing through their brains too. And it's making their brains more functioning and alert and it's able to absorb more and stuff like that. So and so the whole thing is this um with studying too. It's like if you ask a person, what would what would motivate you to study? You know, um the um the for the knowledge of studying or somebody paid you a thousand dollars a week. You know, and then everybody, of course, they're gonna say a thousand dollars a week. And then you say, well, but the the uh, there's uh, rules to it. The money that you spend is only for pleasure. And you can't spend it on you. You can only spend it on your friends. And that's it. And bam, <laughs> you're like, well, what's the purpose of getting a thousand dollars? Well, make your friends happy. <laughs> you know, but I don't say this that um. To rehabilitate the brothers in the um, jails or anyone in jail, you have to talk to them and say, hey, you know, the reason you did what you did was because of the drilling that you uh, released to um, perform some action that was wrong. And then the reason you felt good about doing that is because that's the purpose of a drilling and that's another purpose of a drilling it. And once you, and you can do tests and show them that, hey, you know, um, one thing you have to do, because the one thing people need to learn to do is stop jumping to conclusions. 
go to the source and find out because once you go to the source and you find out and you understand things and things are um, taught better and stuff like that you know then you'll say okay well I'm a, you walk down the street and you think about this girl and you know you see a girl and you think about what doing you know made love to the girl in your head in a matter of five seconds right then you're like yeah I feel good yeah I got confidence <laughs> you know I believe it I could do it and that's where the confidence come in because of the um, the uh, what is it called the uh, stimulation of the um, the um, adrenaline and plus it's pushing you at the same time so you're going over there but you had this pre um, this um, pre um, cruising or something I forget what it was but um, you already determined what you think is going to happen you go over there thinking now that I'll kind of make love to the girl in my dreams and and I done created this uh, uh, reaction so I'm going to go over there and talk to her and because I'm feeling good, you know, I got confidence that she's going to say yes. You know, I know she's going to say yes. And you go in and talk to see rejection. And you're like, oh, my God. And so you guys should keep talking about this confidence. confidence. No. Why would you, you know. And then if you do have sex with the girl, you know, it's not going to be like the way you imagine it. And then you're like, man, you know, I, I, the other day I was at the corner, man. I spent like a whole 10 seconds making love to this girl in my dreams, man. Man. In my head, man, it was good, man. You should have saw the things I had her doing, the things she was doing to me, and the things I was doing to her, you know what I'm saying? That 10 seconds up, man, and my adrenaline was still flowing and stuff, you know. I was still feeling good because of the adrenaline was still flowing, you know. And I made up this scene. I'm going to go over there and talk to her, and I know she's going to come and be with me, and da da da. And you walk over there, girl, man, turn me down, man. You know, man, she turned me down. And you start calling all kinds of names and stuff, but the problem is you. You know, why would you even go that far, you know? And that's what the problem is today. A lot of people are just high off of their adrenaline. So you get these sisters out there, ah, da, 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 da. they just, just, just that adrenaline flowing. Hey, turn that switch off. What are you thinking about? You know, don't think, you know, don't think, you know. So basically, when you go out to the world, you know, um, for you, of course, you have to be alert. But what I'm saying is, it's not about you not being alert, it's by you um, not creating different images in your head or play out these, uh, creating these uh, responses in your head due to some image or some suggestion that someone has given you. And that's why people shopping and buying things and don't know what they're doing, people are fat and out of shape. And, people fighting and not doing it because it's just that you know and it's really a simple thing just do me a favor and um just test it out with you and your friends your parents and with your school and stuff like that um as far as school is concerned you know listen to some music that got some good beat bass that make you feel good because it's pumping that that adrenaline and going through you a little bit at a time and when you study you don't have to study everything at one time study in blocks you know um, I'm reading stuff and just read a little bit at a time, think about it, read, think about it, read, think about it because um, you'll soak it in, you'll retain it faster basically what I'm saying. And I think I've read this in a book or something like that too, but um, you'll retain it faster and it's easier. You know, that's what I've been doing. You know, just slowing down when I'm taking in information or reading and stuff like that. So anyway, I have to go. Uh, yeah, so if you guys, professional guys, need to go talk to your um, other professional people, go talk to the police officers. They all suffer from the same thing, the doctors and guys who are looking for love and in their heads and, you know, people doing criminal activities and all these, everyone's suffering from the same thing and the cure is the same. Just stop um, thinking about, stop judging something and creating this response and then Fueling it with your um, adrenaline, you know, because I mean, because if you think about it, you know, people, you know, do all kinds of stuff, fighting each other, for what? Well, uh, this person did that, what do you know? No, nah, but I thought about it, and I felt good, and I was confident that that was it, so that was it. Then you find out well, I was wrong, well, you know, well, it's too late now, you know, they don't want to, um, you know, 
turf day uh, admit you know their error and stuff but I gotta go but that's that's about it if you guys think about it it's really simple I've started playing to my life and a lot of things have changed you know a lot of things changed so please do your best and think about it. I'm out peace <laughs>